Guys, uh, my name is Terrace Hightower, and today I will be presenting you the Spider 360. All right, with this device is it's a comprehensive device used for injury prevention, uh, rehabilitation, and also just general uh, cross training. Uh, and you can see here, um, it gets its name from looking, you know, kind of like a spider. It doesn't have eight uh, appendages, but you can see that. You know, it has a handle that's detachable. Um, it has uh, grooves in the middle that are for traction that allows your feet to go inside. Um, the wheels can uh, basically glide over any surface with ease, uh, and they can support uh, over 110 pounds each wheel can. Um, so let's get into it. Unlimited range of motion. That's its um, claim to fame. That's what it claims to do, be able to give you. So this is pretty measurable. And it, allow, it comes with this big, um, big model that allows you to see your progress on a clock. So um, if we have a patient that's lacking in some range of motion, it kind of gives them milestones to see where they were this week uh, compared to the next week. Um, Say, or you could use this, say if you don't buy the, the bigger version, you can use simple uh, tape markers in the training room and just keep them there. So it's pretty versatile. As you see this guy right here, um, he's going to town, he's doing all different type of workouts. He's on the floor, uh, he's using resistance bands. Um, he has it attached to the door. Um, I don't have, um, him on the wall with upper extremity, but you also can use this, uh, just you attach it to the bottom and bring it up and you'll be on the wall with it. Um, like I said, floor, wall, resistive, upper, um, it's pretty versatile. So you can get pretty creative with these things. As you see this guy, he's kind of br breaking the monotonous, uh, typical, typical exercises you see, you know, used daily. So, this would be great for athletes that are kind of lazy, don't like to do the, the boring injury prevention, um, typical things that we usually have our, in, our athletes doing. And it's pretty fun, as you can see. You can only imagine how fun this would be if you like to work out. Um, so it has uh, some implications in rehab. Um, it's great with modifications. So whether you would need to use a modification for a teaching tool to progress them into a diff more difficult workout, or they just have to use this modification because that's the stage they're in in rehab, uh, it's pretty useful in this uh, setting. But as you see, he's getting into um, some mini squats as a lot of uh, ACL protocols. Uh, like to do within the first couple, uh, first week of uh, rehab. And so spider rehab, um, it's a comprehensive device. It can be used in closed kinetic and open kinetic uh, exercises. And it's pretty consistent, meaning that you can use this from beginning, middle to end. Um, kind of sets it apart from a lot of the things we have in the training room. We kind of have a lot of things in the training room, but this kind of can, um, do a lot of everything that we have. So for example, a fitter. Um, a fitter is great, you know, in that kind of before return to play stage, but you would never, you know, put somebody on who's just getting out of rehab or post-op, post-op, you know, on a fitter. So this can be used, again, from beginning, middle to end. And so return to play. So, um, Again, I just got a, got them uh, mimicking some things I've seen with ACL prevention or um, some things we do returning guys to play with ACL. Uh, a lot of times I see guys doing the skaters, the uh, SEBT. It's a test used to um, detect athletes at more risk for for injuries. So. You could use this if you uh, had a, actually a baseline value for them before the injury. You could use you could use the Spider 360 in training to actually 
go and take this uh, the SEBT again to see where they're at as far as return to play. Questions? Thank you. What's your cost? Uh, the level one, which is just, you get two of them, you get a maybe the thing and you get a band or two. That's like 125 and then 175 comes with um, uh, all the bands, two instructional DVDs, and a couple other things just thrown in. Yeah, under 200 bucks, either way.